Quart Infusion Blend. You will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'm your host today. We're going to be taking your calls in a few minutes on the news of the day. Let me give you that number. It's 877-789-ALEX. That's our Sunday number, 877-789-ALEX. Now, we were talking just before the break about the Fort Hood shooting, about guns, and we've got some important breaking information about what happened in Chicago as they allowed concealed carry. But before we do, I want to tell you that this half hour of the Alex Jones show is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. You know, we're seeing attacks on our freedoms like never before, and the path to liberty starts with attaining a level of self-reliance. My Patriot Supply is the home of a wide variety of survival products, including the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage products. Patriot Pantry is delicious, nutritious, and prepares in minutes. Patriot Pantry offers an amazing variety, great taste, and is packaged to last up to 25 years. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex today to experience top-rated customer service, top-quality products, incredibly reasonable prices, products you need, service you expect, and prices you can afford. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. Now, you may remember that last year, 
There was a fight going on in Chicago. They tried to do everything they could as they lost in the courts to try to stop concealed carry. It happened anyway. Now we learn that gun advocates are telling us that concealed carry laws have resulted in the lowest murder rate in the first quarter of this year. The lowest murder rate they've seen in Chicago for more than 50 years. The first three months of 2014 have seen the fewest numbers of homicides since 1958. Six fewer than this time in 2013, 55 fewer than this time in 2012. This is from the Chicago Sun-Times. And Louis Gohmert, a Texas Republican, had said, of course, when he tried to, when he testified in support of this, he said, the facts are that every time guns have been allowed, concealed carry has been allowed, the crime rate has gone down. That's exactly right, and that's why so many of us want to see soldiers who are trusted with the state-of-the-art military weapons trusted to protect themselves, to protect others with sidearms. You know, somebody can always get off a sucker punch. They can always get off one shot, but they may not do it if there's a deterrence. The military seems to understand deterrence when it comes to the overall picture, but they don't seem to get it when it involves just one individual. At least they don't want to. Uh, now, we also had some other news out of Chicago. Cops are saying that no charges are going to be filed in the first case of a person actually protecting himself with concealed carry. So we believe that the murder rate has gone down because the deterrence of people knowing that people are armed with it. And of course, if someone pulls out a gun to defend themselves from somebody else who is threatening them or who has pulled a gun on them and it stops at that point, you don't get a police report. You don't get any statistics on that. Only if the police are called. Now, in this particular case, you have a 53-year-old man with a valid concealed carry permit in Chicago. He was able to shoot at two men who tried to accost him outside of his home at 2.30 in the morning. One of the two men pulled a handgun from his waistband, pointed it at the man who took out his own gun, and managed to fire several times at the males. After the shooting, the police responded and determined that the man was shooting in self-defense and he had all of his paperwork together. Hey, that's exactly the way it's supposed to work out. And we see a police chief in Detroit who knows that, who knows that that helps the situation. He was uh, somebody who, when he was in California, he was all for gun control. Then he became a police chief in Maine. And he realized that even though people there were armed at a very high percentage of the population, that crime there was much lower. And he eventually came to realize that it was an armed citizen citizenry that helped to keep that crime rate low. And when he went to, to uh, Detroit, he kept that policy in place. And we have seen now in Detroit several situations where people had their home invaded and fought off the attackers and the police caught those attackers. They're doing what they're supposed to do in Detroit. And he even pointed out that they could not get there in time to help those people. They were on their own for those first few minutes. He is encouraging people to have guns to defend themselves because you can't get there for a few minutes. A 10 minute response at Fort Hood was really pretty good for the police. The problem was 20 people got shot in that amount of time. That's the way it always occurs. Now here's another story that we didn't cover on Friday. It was uh, on Infowars, a Connecticut student suspended for asking the governor questions about gun control. This was at a college and as Steve Watson points out in the article, in a blatant violation of the right of free speech, a college student in Connecticut has been suspended after he asked Democrat Governor Dan Denel Malloy several questions about his stance on gun control at an appearance in a public forum. Now, the student approached him afterwards and asked him, said, do you have any comments about how the legislation has affected my business? His business is manufacturing ammunition. He says, all of our work got outsourced to another state. Now, because he had the effrontery to ask his lord and master, the governor, a question in a public forum, addressing him as sir, you know, they claimed that he had attacked the governor. Uh, then they quickly moved it back and said, well, just verbally attacked him. And so now he has been escorted from the campus. He was charged with harassment, making threats, and other violations of the college's conduct policies. You know, if he gets thrown out of that college, it's probably... The best thing that could have ever happened to him. They're taking his money and he's just going in debt uh, at that college. He needs to get out. He needs, he needs to go to some place where he can start his ammunition uh, business again. Now, another piece of news that came out uh, again late on Friday. Florida sheriffs are attacking citizens' rights to keep guns in a Katrina-like emergency. We just saw in another state 
I think it was, uh, wasn't it Mississippi guys uh, where they, they just, the legislature just passed and the governor is expected to sign a bill that would prohibit them from confiscating uh, weapons in a situation like Katrina. Same situation is coming up in Florida. The legislature has passed it. It has the blessing of both the governor there and the Florida National Guard. But guess who is pushing back against that? The Florida sheriffs. Kind of reminds me of that uh, law enforcement guy from New Orleans who says, you know, that nobody will be armed. We're going to take all your guns. I mean, we've played that clip over and over again. And every time I see it, I don't know about you, but every time I see it, it really, really makes me angry. Now, let's move on to some political corruption uh, that's really kind of, I guess, uh, financially based because we've had some uh, breaking news this last week about uh, campaign finance information. But we didn't hear too much about this story. Uh, State Department says, or that we now learn with an Inspector General's report, that under Hillary Clinton, the State Department says that they lost $6 billion. That's right. They misplaced it. You know, some mistakes were made. Uh, we don't really know where that is, but I guess that still doesn't affect Hillary Clinton's standing as being in running as the uh, most popular Democrat. I mean, whether she's incompetent or dishonest, that doesn't really make any difference. Uh, they said the $6 billion in unaccounted funds pose a, quote, significant financial risk and demonstrates a lack of internal control over the department's contract actions, according to the inspector general's report. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> That's six billion with a B. I mean, how many people can lose six billion and get away with it? Oh, that's right. John Corzine can. <laughs> MF Global, remember them? It just so turns out that about the same day they pointed out six billion was missing from the State Department that uh, uh, Corzine and company said, yeah, we, we found six billion dollars to pay our creditors. I wonder if there's any connection with that. Probably not. But who knows? There's always a possibility there. And, you know, she's, it might actually be something that... Um, Maybe Hillary's got the $6 billion. Who knows? I don't know. We'll have to see. You know, that's not even counting all of the black budget stuff that they've got for running arms in Benghazi uh, or running drugs, too. I mean, you know, there's a lot of black budget money floating around. So you got $6 billion missing from the State Department. You got who knows how much, how many billions of dollars they've made running drugs in Afghanistan and other places. Or just take a look at Benghazi and the arms that they're selling to Al Qaeda there. I mean, there's. The government is making money hand over fist, but according to the budget, uh, they're going into a deficit and you and I need to pay higher taxes. You know, the corruption, though, is not just the Democrats, of course, and it's not just Hillary Clinton. Uh, it is also Republicans. And we were just talking last week about how Sheldon Adelson had his own little primary in Vegas. Well, it turns out a story that's on Drudge Day. He wants the entire Republican convention to be there, and he's pretty much demanding it. We're going to talk about that right after we come back from the break because, you know, corruption is a bipartisan problem, and we're going to talk about what's at the root of that. We'll be right back. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies 
worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code